last time I was here, let me see the hands of those of you who were not here the last time. Oh, mama, boy. Amen. I tell you. This is good. Jesus. This is good. All right. The best is yet to come. I was going to truncate the first part because we covered the first part the last time. But in as much as there are some of you who are here who weren't here the last time, uh, let me slow it down a little. I think, therefore, I am. All right, man. And for those of you who were here the last time, you remember we pondered some points, three points. And for those of you who write yes. so that you can go over stuff, the first point we pondered was, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? The next point we pondered was, why do you think so? And then the final point we pondered is, what are the consequences of such thinking? Who do you think you are? Why do you think so? And what are the consequences of such thinking? Let's peruse the Bible here as we move forward tonight. We remember that the great 17th century philosopher, René Descartes, ah, uh, he said, come on now, who were here the last time? Let's speak some Latin now. Cogito ergo sum. And what that means? I think, therefore, I am. Cogito ergo sum. Amen. This is the University of Practical Christianity here, extension here at Westville uh, University. Corgito ergo sum. Call your wife and your children and tell them you now speak Latin. I think cogito, cognitive. That's where the word comes from. Most of the English language is based in Latin. This is one, cogito, cognitive. You hear about cognitive reorientation, rethinking your thoughts. You know about that, right? Yeah. So that's the word there. And René Descartes came up with that slogan there. I think, therefore I am. He had another saying, Dobito ergo, cogito ergo sum. And who remembers what that was? <laughs> I doubt, therefore I think, therefore I am. He said he began to question things. And he didn't always, he wasn't gullible. Are we together? Yes. yes. Uh, some of us have been gullible. We let people make us do stuff and we don't question it. Amen. A lot of us go to uh, uh, churches and we don't know what the preacher is talking about. We just go there because the preacher said it. We believe it. We don't check it for ourselves. Amen. You got to check stuff. Amen. Because you have people who want to deceive you. Amen. They want Amen. to get you thinking a certain way. Oh, no. We're watching the television now <coughs> with... with Warren Jeffs and that whole gang of people, women who would turn their 12 year, 11 year old, 13 year old daughters to 50 year old men to have sex with because the leader said it was okay. People want to trick you, they want to get you to do what they want you to do. And so René Descartes says, I doubt, therefore I think, therefore I am. And then later, we would have see for our sum. If I am mistaken, I am owning up to what we've done. St. Augustine of Hippo. Hippo is a little, uh, a little part of Africa there. Yes, Hippo there in Africa. St. Augustine. He says, if I am mistaken, I am. I'm sorry. As he looked at his life. You know that word there, existentialism. Yes. Yeah. It's where human beings engage in an identity search. We, 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 wanna, we, wanna, we search for ourselves. And a lot of us, like me, growing up to a single mother, <coughs> in a ghetto, to a deadbeat dad, with negativities all around, I try to find myself <coughs> and, and as a result of my quest, my search, I ended up in trouble and problems and some followed me through life and, and you know I've shared with you that I, 
been to prison and everything like that. A search, an identity search, <coughs> existentialism. 